Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the AAAS YouTube channel. And this is the good stuff. This is the AAAS Journal Author Series. And I'm super happy to have Pablo Peniel with us today. Hey, Pablo. Hi, Frank. <laughs> How are you today? Fine. You know, working on the, my thesis, you know, in the final stage of, uh, you know, writing and reviewing. And uh, I hope uh, I present it uh, in, in next November. Oh, but in the middle, we'll have... But in the middle, we have to, you know, face off, face with the, uh, face with the bureaucracy and all this stuff. So okay, but it's fine. It's 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 awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, everyone who goes through a PhD goes through that that the process. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Very good. So where where where's your geolocation? Where are you located at right now? So well, I normally work at the Madrid, the Universidad uh, Complutense de Madrid. Mm -hmm. But uh, currently, I, I am in my hometown in, in the north of Spain. Is Cantabria is the name of a region. So, but mm -hmm. in my you know my work, my work life is in Madrid. Yeah. Very good. So, how is uh, how is the pandemic in Spain these days? <laughs> good questions. Uh, try to be polite <laughs> on okay. the control, but <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> When the Spain, Spain, in you know, in reality, has uh, the the worst numbers in 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 relation to uh, death deaths per million of people, uh, you know, people on of uh, health system with uh, with the corona, and uh, the the most uh, and the deepest uh, uh, economic crisis in the occidental countries. So um, not good, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would say we're we're not doing so great either right now. Um, yeah. Well, still we have hope that you know in the in the next future will be the things will be better. But you know now worry about the situation. Indeed, indeed. So Pablo, what do you like to do for research? So I want to introduce uh, my uh, last my well, my last uh, my first uh, publication is a uh, systematic search for. Uh, for the periodicity in Fermilat, uh, no, active lactic nuclei detected by Fermilat uh, Area Telescope. This is the main part of my of my thesis. So, uh, is you know the work has uh, you know last uh, the last two years, two years and a half. It was you know, very you know enthusiastic, very you know hard work to to force me to you know improve like a uh, scientific and as an engineer and uh, as a programmer as well and uh, it's it's very funny because uh, you know the, to see the first person uh, some uh, practical behavior in, in in AGN is very you know you know I would say enthusiastic very passionate I mean the first man the first the, the first one yeah so it's very very funny for me, I am, I'm very glad for, 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 the, for the work, honestly. Very cool. Good. cool. And apparently the rest of the uh, uh, people that read or had uh, attended to the presentations are happy as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So let's go ahead and bring up this lovely paper, which I will mention to folks was also a AAS Nova highlight. So you can check that out. And so we have the systematic search for gamma ray periodicity in active galactic nuclei detected by the Fermi Large Area Telescope. Pablo, take us away. Uh, well, this this the idea of this work, uh, you know, started in a in the office of my supervisor one day that uh, called me, said, Pablo, come to my office. Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, I have this idea about you know try to shoot, uh, to find periodicity, to choose for periodicity in in AGN using. Um, Fermi, Fermi lat uh, data because we have enough uh, data at that time because it's nine years of observations. Mm -hmm. And I think we can find uh, interesting results because so far nobody had uh, uh, done this, you know, uh, study in a systematic way so many uh, AGNs. Right. So the problem was like normally in I don't know in the rest, but in my case, the supervisors uh, didn't have any idea about how to implement these things. Only okay, look for the the, the literature and, <laughs> and 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 learn, uh, read and learn. Okay, fine, no problem. And um, I started to to read uh, a lot of you know 
papers to to try to uh, you know get in the first ideas and the first methods and the first things about uh, what is this perversity and uh, and how to detect it and to uh, infer in 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 in, in the mediums of these objects in, uh, in of this center of galaxies. So uh, the first you know feeling was woof of this because there are no many publications very specific for for a, a many short number of uh, of objects and uh, the tax we want to 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 face was you know a study ar around two two thousand of these uh, agns so you you cannot manage two or three objects in the same way that two thousand because you have much information you have to to be very organized and, and try to um, you know uh, Organize or structure your your, your process in, in a very efficient way because otherwise you can it's, it's impossible almost impossible or, or inefficient to manage this information. Right. And this is the, the the first challenge to 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 do is okay how I organize myself, <laughs> and how to uh, you know manage all, all this information, all these life course, all these parameters of each IGM, blah blah, and this is very in my point of view, engineering process, because I have both degrees, fix, uh, physics and engineer. Ah, so, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. So in this thing, my engineer, my part of mine helped me to, okay, I have this problem. I have to manage a lot of things. I have to manage a lot of information. How to, you know, organize that. that. And this is how to, uh, to think about a pipeline with different methods. Uh, in uh, organizing uh, in steps in the stages to uh, to um, study all these 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 ideas. Another another funny funny thing that I found when I started to, to read the papers was there are several oh, no, several methods to to try to uh, infer periodicity, mm -hmm. which is uh, a fairly fairly uh, hot topic I would say these days. Lots of lots yeah of yeah yeah on periodicity in AGN. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, one does use love scarball, other, other use, uh, you know, uh, wavelengths, other... And, 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 and this thing gives me an, an idea, an idea about, okay, I want to um, expect in uh, the, the results that, okay, maybe in my study, I, I can find that, you know, uh, objects that, that were previously published I want to compare both both uh, periods uh, detected, mm -hmm. and I want to use the same method of, of the same methods. But okay, when you increase this number, maybe you, you know it's the several methods, and you say one or other, two or three or four, four you know the the amount increase, you know, almost you know never ending. <laughs> so uh, you have to 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 to, uh, to implement a process of selection of these methods. Cool. And try to to get those that uh, were more used in the in the in the in the literature. So, at, at what time? At what point? I I, find, I, I have in my, I had in my mind I don't know how many fifteen or sixteen methods, and uh, my supervisors told me, okay, Pablo, okay, it's great. You <laughs> you, <laughs> you right. find. Uh, <laughs> you found uh, okay, you know, fifteen methods. You implemented them. You make it run with you know all all the, all the, the the stuff is in Python, and you know. Uh, but okay, fifteen I think is too much, or too many. Sorry, and I say okay, I reduce this fifteen and uh, and and I choose uh, ten the methods in uh, because okay. I think. Uh, is for my point of view was the best uh, number and uh, and and, inc and include the best uh, or at least the most famous uh, or more used uh, algorithms to 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 search for um, periodicity right cool so how about the sample let's see where are we at So, uh, you want to talk about the, the the source selection? And the source selection. Well, this one of the best part of uh, of the of the paper was uh, is that is a, a very collaborative uh, 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 task. 
um, this part of the paper was implemented by Sarah, Professor Sarah Buzon, that um, uh, she had uh, he made a study of uh, of neutrino uh, event that took place two years ago, and something like that. And in order to uh, analyze this 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 phenomenon of neutrino, uh, mm -hmm. she uh, created of the life course of of this of uh, this AGNs, and 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 we reuse or we take, took advantage of this previous work, or and and, and we use her life course to uh, to analyze uh, to to try to to, uh, to to find periodicity. So uh, this part of her, I know, very expert in uh, in the Fermilat uh, data analysis. So uh, sorry, I can't <laughs> to tell you so much about about it. Sorry. Okay. But it's good. Uh, it's good. So we ended up with uh, looks like you had about twenty three hundred candidates. Uh, or in the yes. pipeline. Yeah, 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 yes. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Uh, methodology, maybe maybe go to the to the to the first picture. First picture. So we got uh, here's our ten methods. We got Lone Scargo, Redfit, etc. Markov chain, Monte Carlos. Yeah. In this section, we uh, we present the different methods or algorithms we, we use to to try to infer the periodicity and the significance of the periodicity. So this is the the pipeline of uh, we implement to 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 find uh, the um, uh, periodicity in this uh, sample of AGNs. Okay. So let me get so, start. So it starts in the upper right. Okay. Got it. <laughs> so. First of all, uh, because it's one of my background in, as an engineer, is is the, the 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 diagram is implemented using the UML uh, uh, language. It's a standard to uh, describe and to uh, uh, structure electronic systems or business systems or software system. Uh -huh. So uh, so uh, I use you know this language in order to uh, show to the to the potential readers uh, how we. Uh, um, uh, analyze the the, 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 the data in a, in a systematic way so initially um, we, we, we we take uh, the life course we read the, 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 with the, the flux and the and time of, 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 of and date of the flux and we impose a, a first uh, constraint uh, those um, objects that uh, have uh, more than 50% of upper limits in the life course, we remove it. Okay. This is why, because um, we implement um, an analysis of the different methods and, and we uh, try to find the loses of, uh, how to say, efficiency of uh, accuracy of the, of the method when you remove data of the life course. And we found that uh, the 50% uh, is are uh, is the the the, the best uh, criteria to uh, to to uh, for, for in order to avoid loses efficiency in, in these methods so okay this is in 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 a in a, in a later part of, of the paper so uh, the remain uh, sample get into the first stage of uh, analysis that it, it composed for those methods that, that require less computational time is uh, okay. mm -hmm. so LSP as Love Scarroll periodogram is you know very famous in uh, in every you know periodicity pre search. Indeed. And we, yeah. And we use one um, uh, one uh, criteria to select because there are, here there are two two, two problems two two, two two situation to face is or are uh, fine periodicity and get the significance of these peaks. So how to, you know, probably is the, is the, is the peak. So most of the, of the normal method don't, uh, don't provide this, this uh, how alt or complementary uh, uh, property. So give a peak, but I don't know if a peak is significant or not. It's just, you know. So here we combine both situations, of course, because we need it in order to say, okay, this is, we have, uh, you know, it's a high significant uh, detection. Mm -hmm. So in this in this scenario for last carbon, the first approach is using the power law fitting. Is a is a is a taken from a paper in a, I think it's Butter Plus in the 2005, and uh, right. and uh, you know um, approximate uh, the, the the noise 
for a slope, is a, for a power law. In typical, in, 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 in periodicity, in, in certain periodicity, there are very famous problem is the rain noise. Rain noise is, is, is a problem because uh, introduce fake, uh, fake detections, fake uh, peaks in the, in the programs, yep. especially in short frequency, because it's most of the power of, uh, of, of this noise is focused in, in short frequencies and, and large uh, periods. Mm -hmm. So you have to face this 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 problem, and uh, so uh, all these methods that uh, you know um, uh, try to find significance in the, in the, of these peaks uh, face this, this this problem. So power law fitting is a, a very fast appro approximation to to face this one. Rate fit is a very is a is an other method that provides both things: the, the detection of uh, of the peak and this is a, another alternative approximation uh, of to recognize and to to get the, the certificates of the peak that, that it provides. Uh, this great uh, this great uh, Fourier transformation that uh, in this method uh, uh, you can have a, uh, uh, have a harmonics in the in the program due to uh, you know secondary lobes in the in the discrete Fourier transformation and and applying a window is Welch window. You reduce this 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 problem. Okay. A, PD, a PDM is uh, is phase dispersion uh, uh, minimization is is another another method uh, that uh, try to find in this case the minimum of of, of theta that is a statistic parameter to find uh, uh, to detect the periodicity. So in this case to 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 find the, the in PDM I mean and the DFT DFT method. We use the Fisher uh, random uh, uh, process that this is in you take your your life core, you randomly move it, and then you, you apply the, the same method. And if you, you get a peak higher than the, the initial one, the, 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 you, you assume one. So you repeat this, this process many times, and in that, in that way, you can get the significance of the initial peak. Do you understand? Yes, I'm with you. Yes. So, so it's, 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 you know, it's very it's simple and it's fast, well, fast depending on the method, of course, but uh, it's, uh, you can find it in, in the publications. And this is the initial uh, uh, analysis uh, stage of searching for uh, periodicity. And this is the, the first filter of, of AGNs. To filter the, uh, the AGNs, we use different selection uh, candidate criteria that we impose that at least uh, at least uh, one, uh, sorry, all the methods have to have more than two sigmas in the, in the peak uh, reported. Okay. But we accept that at least one has less than two, but it has to be higher than one. So the, the, the minimum level is, is, is one, sin, uh, one sigma, but at least three had to reach three. Okay. Two, sorry, two. Two. Okay. Filter in the rest. Uh, the remaining sample is around 60 AGNs. So in, in, in the first stage, 400 AGNs get into because the rest is filtered by, uh, the, by the 50 upper limits uh, criteria. So, okay. so, so starting for 2000, around 2000, we started around 400, 500 in the first stage. In the second stage, the, 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 the entrance, sorry, sorry, the entrance is 90, sorry. The entrance is 90 AGNs get into this second stage of analysis. And 90, here we have 90, 90, 90 Say 90, 90 sorry. 90, okay. Yeah. And this second stage is is, com is consists of the um, the those methods that require more computational power. So uh, some of them you need hours to analyze the, the life. So uh, so okay. Uh, it takes time. Yeah. This is this is the, the, the hard the hard part. <laughs> Especially the the weight uh, wavelength. This is WWZ is the, the the method that require more time. Yes. Yeah. So well, to introduce the, the methods, we start with GLSP. Is um, is an um, um, another is a love scarball, but a generalized love scarball. That in this in this case, this method use the uncertainty of the points. For okay. instance, for instance. In the initial SP, the, uh, it doesn't need the, the, the uncertainties of the flux in this case. But this one, in this one, it, it uses it. So it's, it's better, of course. 
And another to get the significance of the peak, we use bootstrap, typical in in uh, in statistics. You know, moving, uh, taking uh, subsamples of initial uh, of initial sample, moving randomly, and then apply the uh, the same method. Mm -hmm. Then we have the MCMC sim uh, fitting. Okay, using Monte Carlo simulations, we um, we try to to fit the the life curve of the AGN with a uh, with a scene with you know with amplitude, um, period, uh, phase, and uh, an offset and uh, an equation. And during the, the, this uh, this process, we get uh, this you know these parameters, and we can fit. Uh, we try to fit the the life curve to this scene. Mm -hmm. So LSP is life scarbol the the the, the, the life curve of the initial stage, but in this case we, we use simulated LS, uh, light course. Um, uh, taking as initial point the, the original light course, uh, this this method uh, take different parameters of the light course, approximate the, the light the light curve with uh, with these initial parameters, and they simulate a lot of uh, the number you want of light course. And then apply again like, like, uh, the, light, the low scarbol and to get the significance. It was uh, this this uh, this uh, algorithm is, is published by a monopolo. I think is is the name, and it is useful for for this for this um, uh, for, for for searching uh, periodicity. And then Bayesian QPO is is another method that uh, to to, to to try to, to to find out the impact of the red noise in the, in the life curve. Give you it gives it may, my means of you know Bayesian. Uh, Simulation and so on. It, it gives you how the uh, how the likely the likelihood of your uh, life course could be uh, created by rain noise, and it's a number to, to take account. Uh, if you get, for instance, a uh, um, um, periodicity, you can and, and this method give you gay. Okay, you get a periodicity, but it's more you know the likelihood of this um, of this life course to be created by rain noise is very high. So be careful with your, you know, asset. Okay, this is a period. It's very, I think it's very useful. And uh, and the last ones are more, they are wavelengths, but two different uh, methods. Uh, as a consequence of removing the 50% of upper limits, uh, some of the of the light curves that initially are, are ev evenly, because, you know, you have in, in a, because it's what I think I, I, I didn't say. Um, the life course of, of the IGNs are uh, been, been uh, by 28 days. So every 28 days you have a, a, a flux, a, a data, I mean. Okay. So if you have upper limits and you remove it, so you have gaps, it's not evenly. So, so transform the, uh, the you, you, you transform the evenly life course in a, an evenly light course. So this process, some of the methods suffer or don't or don't uh, give how say good results in an even space uh, life course. This is because what happened with the continuous wavelength that uh, it only works uh, correctly for even uh, even space life course, and this is why use the, the other alternative is uh, okay. the white wavelength. This is the alternative to uh, phase and an evenly spaced life course. Is very. I do understand, because I'm with you. Uh huh. Okay. So uh, again, after this process, um, it takes time. It, it takes time. Uh, we impose the same selection criteria on the first stage, that uh, this two sigma one sigma, and then in order to 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 filter here the remanent is uh, after this second stage the remanent the remaining sample is con consists of around 60 objects okay. 60 agns so in order to, to find the best ones uh, and, and what means best ones so uh, according to some simulations we we, we implement that we we define a, a criteria for the high significance candidate that uh, that uh, we impose that to 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 uh, select IGN for this best uh, how was a group it at least uh, four methods have to provide uh, the same value of the period 
with a significance of four sigma or higher. All right. Uh, That's great. So, uh, so this is, and we in this, uh, and this group is composed by 11, uh, 11 objects. Okay. But this is the last one, uh, the, the safe high significance, this part, this one, this one. Yep. This, this, we end this up branch. With 11 at this point. Yep. Yeah, that's right. But in the previous stage, we imposed uh, a less restrictive uh, criteria. This is of low significance candidate that here uh, we impose that at least three methods uh, has to provide uh, the same period, uh, period value with four sigma. So the rest of the methods have to provide them, the, ha, has to provide the same uh, period value, but we, we allow one exception, okay? In 10 methods, okay, one don't, uh, not agree, it's not agree. How many, how many come out in the low significance uh, bin? How many, sorry? How, ma how many candidates do you get in the low significance? 13, 13. 13, okay, so 13. Nine, nine good, 13 lower. So, 13 for low significance and 11 for, for high significance. So the, 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 the sample is composed of 24, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, in, well, in the paper, you, you, you can find all the data, all, all the information for the different uh, process for, you know, how many iterations we use, how many life course uh, or, uh, we use, how many, uh, you know, all the technician information try to reproduce the, the, uh, the, the, the experiment because, all this code, well, all no. Most of the code is uh, is composed of, of functions uh, included in different um, Python packages. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep. you know, you can access and you can download and you can implement it. So in in our in our case, we uh, we implement uh, the Monte Carlo scene fitting by by ourselves. But uh, you know, the the core of the code you, you can find in the in, in the web. And the other one is uh, the LSP and plus the power low uh, uh, is oh, uh, I, I, is also pro, uh, implemented by us. But the rest is uh, in general is provided up for uh, you know official Python packages or is it was implemented by people that you can access the sources in the in the web. Mm -hmm. So in the paper you have the access and you have uh, the cool. links and uh, nice. whatever you want to download or whatever. So here, the rest of the of the capture, you know, is composed for you know how many resamplings, how many life could we use. So this thing and information because I think it's very useful for for the readers, especially for students, <laughs> because one mm -hmm. of the problems I, I I found when I read the the, the the documentation for as a beginner I was, is no information about the things how sometimes don't don't provide the access of the of the, of the packages or the sort of the code they use yeah. or or how they implement the you know, simulations or the samplings. So you try to help for, for students or for the, you know, the future students. Okay, I give you all the formation and, <laughs> and try to use it. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, yeah. So in, in this table, we present uh, the, in table one, we, we introduce the, the, the candidates the, the, uh, with, with, with the, um, with the properties that uh, characterize them, so the, the declination or the type of addressive or the and the typical things that with the names because depending on the catalog, we use one name or another. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. For, for for me, as coming from the for the engineering, is a little bit uh, you know strange how why uh, the same object, object has different names. Okay, my supervisor is explaining because depending on the catalog, depending on the on the of, of the projects or the experiments take you know the particular name but uh, at the beginning for me it was very strange <laughs> but okay it's, it's just you know a curiosity for you know a beginner yep <laughs> it's like multiple telephone numbers it's all good <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay and here's a uh, here's a map yeah for candidates See, yeah, the distribution of uh, on the on the on the on the on the sky, the the, the, the candidates and the the, the high significant candidates and the low significant. Yeah, just to I think it's a good point to to give a visual uh, information about uh, where where they are. But uh, very interesting. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Okay, let's get into the results. Yeah. So we got 
Uh, discussion of the candidates. Yeah, so um, here we present the, 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 uh, the results. So in, in, in both, in both uh, subsamples, we, we have objects that were previously presented in the, in the literature. In the high significant, we have PG-1553, that you know, is the most famous. Mm -hmm. And PKS-2155 is another, uh, they are the, the, the two biggest stars, I mean, in, in, the, in the HGT behavior. Because, uh, okay, for me, PG-1553 is very clear that present, uh, you know, even visually, you, you see the life course, okay, oh, yes. And uh, so uh, we have nine that uh, so far uh, nobody uh, detect or, or publish any, any radical behavior. Uh -huh. So this is, you know, this is the, the you know, the best part for, for me at least because, you know, the, I see that I was, or we were the, the, the first ones to see, you know, the, the, this, this, this information. This is discovery. So, uh, this is discovery. <laughs> Sorry? This is discovery. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, well, the thing is when you start to, uh, in this adventure, because it's adventure, because you start from, from scratch, because uh, in the department, uh, nobody has uh, any reference or idea about how to face this, this, this mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, you know, read a lot, you know, fight with the code, you know, download this, this, this code, it, it didn't work, you implement another one. One of the best things that I, I, I did during the, the, the paper was uh, a collaboration with another PhD student, this is Jorge Oteros, he's a, another, one of the co-authors, and uh, he uh, studies in, a, or he, yeah, he studies in, a, in Astrofísica de Canarias in Tenerife, and he was, you know, searching for a pericity, but in optical for a couple of objects. Uh -huh. And we uh, we in, we create a very very close uh, collaboration because we 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 it's, it's like you know like like a game like you when you are in your child and you have the you know the sports cars that you say I have I find this one. What do you think? Oh, yeah, give, I implemented uh, this code. Use it. I have I, I found this uh, this bug. Fix it. So so. Uh, we, you know, reach each other with, with experience and uh, with, met with different methods. Uh, nice. Very, you know, it's great. Nice. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, uh, and, and in, in, the, in the second group, in the low significant uh, 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 sample, we found three, I think, three, three objects that were previously pre presented in the, in the literature. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, okay, yeah. It's fine. Right. Here in this in this chapter, we have uh, some um, complementary uh, analysis in order to uh, to uh, how to say um, provide how to accuracy is our 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 numbers. So we uh, in order to see okay because uh, we found twenty four in in two thousand, but is you know, it's stochastic, it's by chance, because, you know, you, you simulate and you find, yeah. So in order to, 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 to find out, okay, you, you, uh, how many detections you have by chance. Right. So we simulate, <laughs> yeah, because, okay, maybe by, you know, you, you know, throw the, the you, gam you are gambling and okay. So sometimes the, the people uh, the wins to the casino. So uh, in this case, we simulate 30 light course and uh, 30, so 30,000 life course and, and try to find how many detections according to our uh, criteria uh, we'll find. Uh, we, we found 0.5%. So of these 11 uh, high okay. significant uh, candidates, at least w one is by chance. <laughs> you choose the yeah. process. Okay. Right. It's, yeah, yeah. Cool. And, and here is uh, table four. I think is is very important an important thing because we estimate how many years of uh, Fermi uh, lab data we will need in order to find uh, or to get uh, a detection with five sigmas. Okay. Uh -huh. So uh, we estimate with uh, you know uh, with you know extending the life course, assuming that uh, the periodic uh, behavior extending the time, and depending on the period. And the, and the different factors in, in this study, years of lot of observation, 
I think it's, it's a good point because, for instance, uh, because we use data from 2008 till 2017, nine years of Fermilab data. Uh, Fermilab data. So uh, one of the things we want to do is with this with data till now come back. So in, according to our numbers, so one, two, three, four for uh, AGNs cool reach phi sigma. So the, the, this table give us or, or give us or general people uh, to people a reference of uh, okay maybe with this extra three years we we can find uh, spike sigma but let's see because so and uh, well this the pictures uh, figure five is this Monte Carlo the result of Monte Carlo in fitting this is this is uh, the result in the in the in the top of fig uh, figure this is the uh, S five zero seven sixteen the problem with this the problem the situation with this uh, uh, object is that uh, in in uh, in the in the literature um, people uh, uh, you know uh, uh, provides a period of thing of uh, around one year I think and I found that uh, the period I found I mean is two two years uh, two point seven years so uh, but. In some in some in some methods, a second peak in the in the in the in the, uh, a second peak is, is 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 replaced in around one year. So I, I implement an, an study of with two or two point seven years, one year, and the combination of, of, of two things. I mean, one of the things we happen is okay, maybe it's, it's a, a more complex than one scene. I mean, is in this case, uh, I, I, in this case, we combine. Um, two scenes. One uh, focus on uh, around three years. Another one focus on one one year. I try to 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 this one. Yeah, this is the, the combination of two scene of two scene. I'm trying to see how the the, the likelihood of that uh, that uh, is 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 right. And we found that uh, the combination of two scene is not uh, a good. Uh, a good approximation so far, but okay, it's, it's this kind of experiment we we did. For instance, uh, uh, BL Lafertai has a, a similar behavior. In the literature, it's around two years. In my case, it's, uh, I found four years, but and, and I implement a, 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 a combination of two scenes, and I found the same uh, results of, of S5 CO716. Uh, Cool. So it's try to you know explore another situations and 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 and, uh, and to try uh, try to to discover okay maybe it's not so, so simple like a a scene I mean but it's fine it's yep. experiments absolutely yeah yeah and I try to give people another uh, ideas to you know so wrap it, go ahead <clears throat> let's go ahead and wrap it up with uh, with the summary. <laughs> yeah, so the summary is just, uh, you know, we, we analyze uh, around 2,300 uh, DGNs with, years, with nine years of Fermilat data. Uh, we implement uh, a systematic pipeline composed of, uh, consists of uh, 10 methods, you know, to, to shoot for periodicity. And uh, we found that, uh, and we, we, we define uh, 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 selection criteria in order to to filter um, this the, the candidates to, to have a periodicity and uh, the high significant uh, we found that 11 of these objects has a uh, high significant uh, evidences of presenting uh, political behavior emissions in in gamma in gamma ray and uh, another sample composed of low significance uh, Evidence that uh, it composed for 13 objects, and uh, and, and, and uh, in addition to that, we, we implement uh, complementary studies to to infer, to estimate future behavior, uh, 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 particular behavior, or how many data of Fermilat we need to 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 to, to infer uh, mm -hmm. five sigmas. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And sorry, finish. Uh, in in this 11. Um, uh, high significant uh, candidates, nine 
uh, the first time that uh, that uh, a, pre a predicate behavior is, is presented. This Very is cool. The, the summary. Very cool. So you kind of you kind of hit on it in one of your tables there, um, on the number of additional years of of observations needed to hit five sigma. Um, um, so the, my, my question is, where, where do we go from here, given ah. <laughs> what you've published? And you kind of touch on it in your table with how many more years of observation are needed to reach five sigma. Yeah. Uh, so that's a very cool table. But, but uh, you know, take a step back and, you know, where do we go from here, given what you've published? Well, um, well there the are two lines. In my, in my mind for, for the future. The first one is what you mentioned, the, you know, using more data for, for Fermi. And the, another to, you know, check if the, our estimations are good. And the, 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 the second part of the second line is, uh, how they include more methods in the, in the, in the, in the pipeline. Because, uh, but uh, no, but the specific ones. One of the comments of the referees of the paper was, uh, to include uh, to include um, a progressive model like Arima or Carfima or Karma or Arma in order yeah. to evaluate the, the life course and uh, and to study the impact of the of the noisy because uh, one of the you know critics of this uh, of the, the reviewer was that in astrophysics uh, you you use methods are not are not mathematical mathematical support. It's just, uh, and you need more, you know, mathematical theorems behind the, the methods. And one of these is uh, this, this autoreactive model. Okay. And I, yeah, and I want to include uh, in, in, the, in the pipeline uh, two, two lines because uh, ARIMA, for instance, is, uh, is ARIMA or FIMA is the, the typical one, is, um, is for evenly space time series, but Karima, Karima, Karima is, is for an evenly uh, time series. So this is one I want to implement to include in the, in, in the paper, because even I read a couple of papers that uh, I think the last year, no, even this year, are applying this method to, to astrophysics, to, to, to life course in order to analyze astrophysics, so to the, the AGN's life course. So I think very interesting because, okay, the review, the reviewer, was right, I mean, <laughs> because, uh, you know, reading uh, his or her, uh, her uh, comments, you know, you can feel that, uh, okay, he knows or she knows the, what, you know, about the mathematical models or the models and every opinion of uh, that, uh, you know, improve or give you another view of the, of the, of the, of the same problem, I think is very benefit, is benefit or is, is good for me at least as a student as, and as astrophysics. So I want to, to include it. I read a couple of papers during, you know, break times in my thesis because sometimes you need to unplug the mind of the writing thesis. <laughs> and okay, I need to, you know, get out of the thesis two or three days and, um, and, uh, and, and read a couple of papers and find some code. But there's a problem because uh, in Python, it doesn't have, uh, uh, all the, for example, for, for Carfima and Karima, I, don't, I didn't find any, I didn't find any uh, Python packages, but yes, in R. So is what I check. So maybe I have to program in, in, in R and include in Python with, uh, with some packages or something. Mm -hmm. but, uh, cool. but, you know, it's such to always start to improve, you know, uh, because if, if you think you, if everything is done and okay, finished, I think it's not a good point, that, but this is my point of view. So to improve, always start to, to improve. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> very good. And that will do it. So Pablo, I want to thank you very much for uh, walking us through your, your lovely, lovely paper there. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.